We are finally starting to see this more and more. We are finally starting to see normal people unafraid to speak out against the insanity. Ten years ago, saying something as simple as men should not be competing athletically against women, it would go completely unnoticed. No one would pay attention to it. No one would care because the vast majority of people, they would accept it as common sense. But today... We are living in a media-driven culture that is so backwards, that is so corrupt. When someone like Marcellus Wiley speaks the truth about transgender athletes, it makes the news. First off, we really have to give credit to Riley Gaines here. I think what we are seeing right now with more and more current and former athletes speaking out, it comes directly from the courage of Riley Gaines. Here on the channel, We started covering Will Thomas, known to the wanker spankers as the winner of the woke beauty pageant, Leah Thomas. We started covering Leah Thomas back in November of 2021. Now at the time, there were very few media outlets covering the story of Will Thomas dominating women swimming. The mainstream media, they largely ignored the story until Will Thomas won the NCAA Women's Championship. Now of course... Once the media picked up on the story, they celebrated Leah Thomas as a sign of progress. This is what diversity and inclusion looks like. This is our dream utopian society where a man can wake up one morning feeling like a woman and win a championship with the assist of the gas-powered propeller in his Speedo. Riley Gaines was one of the first athletes to speak publicly against Leah Thomas. I think her courage led to others like Bethany Hamilton to feel comfortable speaking out. Once you see the support Riley Gaines received from normal people, it becomes easier to fight back against the insanity. Who cares if the mainstream media criticizes you? Who cares if the woke media calls you transphobic? You have the support of normal people also known as 90% of the country. And now, we have former NFL Pro Bowler Marcellus Wiley speaking out against men invading women's sports. I gotta be honest with you, I like this Marcellus Wiley dude. I tend to gravitate towards people who are authentic. I tend to give my time to watch people who speak the truth. Last week, there was a tragic shooting in East Lansing on the campus of Michigan State. The shooting claimed the lives of three undergrad students, wounded five others. How does the woke media choose to cover that story? (laughs) You guys already know. I don't have to tell you. Just like every other tragic event involving a firearm, the media uses the tragedy at Michigan State to push for gun control. This is why all guns should be confiscated. If you can't walk into a Dick's Sporting Goods to buy a gun, no one would lose their life. Yeah. Because criminals are known for following the law. Marcellus Wiley, he looked at the tragedy at Michigan State the same way you and I did. Marcellus Wiley, he didn't blame the gun. He didn't beg for stricter gun laws. He put the blame for the situation where it belonged on the shooter. Last I checked, a pistol is not capable of pulling its own trigger. I have never seen a pistol with an index finger. If I remember correctly, when he was still working at Fox Sports 1, Marcellus Wiley, he was one of the only ones in the mainstream sports media to criticize LeBron James for threatening the life of a police officer. So I was not surprised in the least when I came across this video I'm about to share with you. Marcellus Wiley has a daughter in her early 20s that was a track and field star at UConn. With all this media-driven bullshit about transgender rights and sports, Marcellus Wiley, he decided to make his feelings known. In short, I don't think we're going to see Jack, who woke up this morning choosing to identify as Jackie Mahomes, competing against the daughter of Marcellus Wiley. Watch for yourself. I have no issue with transgenders. I do have an issue with athletes who are transgender trying to participate, going from a transition of a man to a woman and now playing with the women. And I will say that. Y'all can try and Dave Chappelle me all y'all want. I am very clear on this. You could be a transgender. You could be the homie. But I'll be damned if a male at birth turns into a female 
and tries to compete against my daughters. She ain't out there. We, we, we out. Don't make this a human rights issue. This is a biological issue. Simple as that. Trust me, I am a man. And then I'm like, why can't the dudes who transition to women actually empower women and compete against the men? Since you so damn bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I were me, Marcellus, and then tomorrow I'm Martha, I change up my gender, I'm now a woman, you know what I would try to do? Compete against the dudes. Why? Because that's empowering. If you noticed, he started off the same way we see most public figures start off when discussing transgender athletes. I have no issue with transgender people. Duh. This is because the mainstream media, they have created this environment where it's deemed unacceptable to be critical of anything involving the rainbow. You always have to begin with this disclaimer to avoid being labeled transphobic. Marcellus Wiley, he brought up an interesting point. If the media wants to claim the inclusion of transgender athletes as a sign of progress in sports, shouldn't the dudes wanting to be women compete against other men? I mean, if we're talking about progress, wouldn't that be progress? We are constantly told by the media that women are equivalent to men. We are constantly told women can do anything men can do. Since the media classifies Rachel Levine as a woman... Since Rachel Levine is considered a woke woman, wouldn't it be more impressive if she competed and defeated men? Wouldn't it have been more impressive if Leah Thomas, a woke woman, beat the men for the NCAA championships in swimming? When talking about the inclusion of transgender athletes in sports, the topic of conversation, it is always centered around men competing as women against biological women. Why? Why do you think that's the case? Because the only thing standing in the way of America becoming the utopia that deacons at Woke United Methodist want it to become is strong men. What is the best way of eliminating strong men? You convince them they're actually women. You think the shit fucks really care about transgender athletes? You think they really care about the inclusion of Tran, Dan, and women's soccer? No! The transgender lifestyle, it has been infiltrated by the shit fucks to further their own narrative. And look, that is not the only way they are weakening men in our society. Anytime a man displays masculine traits, masculine behavior, they call it toxic masculinity. If a man's voice raises an octave or two when he's speaking to a woman, they call it harassment or verbal abuse. Just look at what happened to Don Lemon when it was reported that he chastised Katie Rue Collins. Seriously, has anyone ever considered Don Lemon to be a manly man? Hell, I don't even think Don Lemon considers himself to be overly masculine. But as soon as he yells at a woman, he's accused of being a misogynist. He's accused of toxic masculinity. They are trying to silence men because they know all it takes is a few strong men speaking out and the rest of society will follow. People have a natural tendency to follow the leadership of a strong male figure. This is why fatherhood is so critical in the raising of a child. Go look at history. Go look at the history of dictators in the world. Even though they use their power for evil, it takes a lot of charisma and leadership to become a dictator. It's not easy to convince an entire population to follow your path. Name one powerful dictator that's been a woman. Name one. I initially came across this video of Marcellus Wiley speaking facts over the weekend. My original plan was to share this with you guys yesterday. I ended up going with Chris Cuomo instead. Hey, it's me, Chrissy C. Because I wanted to give this clip of Marcellus Wiley time to marinate. I wanted to give the shit fucks on Twitter, along with their fellow wanker spankers in the mainstream media, time to react to this story. Right now, it's been a full 48 hours. By this point, I was expecting to see all kinds of fake outrage. I was expecting to see the Washington Post accuse him of being transphobic. Where is Bishop the Talbert Swan? Where is the wicked wig of the woke Joy Reid? Where are all the usual suspects who display their fake outrage anytime someone violates the woke commandments? Where the hell are they? 
There is literally silence right now in the mainstream media. The New York Post, Fox News, the Daily Mail, they are the only media outlets that have picked up this story. Why? I wish I could give you an answer. I really don't know. Is it because the media knows they are losing this fight? Is it because they've seen more and more normal people speak out against it? Maybe it's because Marcellus Wiley is a strong black man and they don't want to be accused of mythical racism. Or, and this is most likely the answer, perhaps the mainstream media is ignoring Marcellus Wiley because they don't want you to know about it. They don't want you to see it. They don't want you to hear the truth. When it comes to mythical racism in the NFL, at least the media has an argument that they can make. They can point to the fact that there aren't that many black head coaches in the NFL and use that to make a case of mythical racism. But when it comes to men invading women's sports, the media, they don't have a leg to stand on. There is no logical case that the media can make to convince normal people that it's okay for men to compete against women. There was this one particular wanker spanker on Twitter who replied to this video from Marcellus Wiley. He said, please, please stop regurgitating the hate. There are so few transgender athletes that this should not even be an issue. Yeah. No shit. You are making our point. There are so few transgender athletes. Why in the hell are we even discussing this? Both Bethany Hamilton and Marcellus Wiley, they tried reasoning with the shit fucks. They tried compromising by saying, give Tran Dan his own individual division. Create an entire division dedicated to nothing but transgender athletes. Now, this idea, it's often rejected by Woke United Methodists because they know there are not enough transgender athletes to complete even half a roster. Credit to Marcellus Wiley for using his platform to speak the truth. This is what happens when you don't have to worry about the constraints of working in the sensitive mainstream sports media. Marcellus Wiley, he left Fox Sports 1, I think it was a couple of months ago. I believe he launched a podcast under the Dan Patrick Network. But either way, ever since he left FS1, Marcellus Wiley has been vocal. He has used his platform to promote narratives that common sense people agree with. Good for him. I hope it grows. But give me your thoughts. Marcellus Wiley pushes back against dudes competing against women. Why do you think the woke media is ignoring this story? In the past, this would have caused a massive bombardment of fake outrage. Why do you think Marcellus Wiley is being ignored by the mainstream media? You tell me. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.